been mixing, I've been sipping Since I've been 20 on that lean, baby girl I've been popping and I've been rolling Since I was 17, I've been geeking on that water I want you, na na So what's up, people? Every, every once in a while, at the end of the year I usually come up with the top 5, top 10 most innovative companies but not, you know, your traditional innovation that catered to middle class, upper class that everybody talking about but real innovation that can fight global warming you know, address the environment really game changer that's gonna uh, uh, build this this green economy that I believe is the future number one and number two we have no choice you know, the way that things are going with pollution and everything uh, we have no choice but to focus more on green technology and, and that's really where the future is. So one of the best, best technology I've seen and I'm not going to follow, it's not in order but uh, I'm a little bit biased. Um, it's a company called MDI.LU uh, and we'll put the links on the video at the bottom but also on the, on the description uh, that you can check them out and all. I met those guys uh, in Monaco at the conference, at the, um, the New Energy Conference over there. It's a, it's a technology that uses compressed air for cars. I didn't even know that was possible. Uh, I believe that's a game changer. Uh, the battery business for lithium batteries and all are very limited. There's a lot of innovations that are, a lot of funding that are going into uh, lithium technology that not using the raw materials that come from Congo. Uh, we have a long way to go with it. But those, these guys are using compressed air in vehicles. That's amazing. Uh, they're already running, uh, they, you know, they, 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 they're actually in Europe. That'll be very interesting technology uh, to bring in Africa, actually. Uh, but check them out, man. I mean, compressed air is not used just in cars. I've seen a company in South Africa uh, that use compressed air for storing energy that you can use um, at night or for storage capabilities. Compressed air is a very uh, 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 tricky business because you have to do it on a, on a big scale or you use a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of that capacity. I'm not going to get too technical. But check that website, man. The second company is called, sorry for the pronunciation, algenit.com. Uh, so they deal with wearable textile for biopolymers. Uh, uh, so it, it's a new way uh, to develop textile uh, that is biodegradable. Uh, very, very interesting technology. That's also a huge problem of waste is the traditional uh, wearable that we wear. Our clothes are not biodegradable. Most of them is dumped in the sea or in the oceans. It's just crazy. We use plastic, obviously. And this technology is very innovative. Uh, so I came across them. They were finalists. And I think if I, they were finalists at the Green Challenge this year, 2018. Um, just in, in parenthesis, some of the best innovation I've seen are always finalists at the Green Challenge Innovation. Uh, so go on their website, greenchallenge.info. They have some of the best innovation I've seen in the world that tackle some of the, the most challenging problems uh, that environmental is facing. You know, uh, and I'm not gonna go through it, you gotta check it out. But I've seen some of the best innovation on their website. Uh, but this technology, they were finalists this year. That's how I came across. Uh, we were finalists last year. Um, so I always check their website, the top 25 and the top five. They actually uh, won a grant, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, that's a very interesting technology. The, the third one is one of my favorite. Blackbearcarbon.com uh, is one of my favorite. They're also uh, part of the top 25 finalists of the Green Challenge. So they develop a technology that recycles tires. So they shred the tires into a powder and use that powder to make um, either uh, uh, floors for uh, 
Olympic runners, floor for basketballs. You know, the floor has to be smooth enough uh, when you fall and all those things. Amazing technology. So their whole value chain process is shred the tires, separate the metals uh, with the, 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 the plastic part or the country part of the tires and make it a powder and make it flows out of this. I'm paraphrasing, I'm not the one inventing that. Check their website, that's one of my favorite. I actually contacted them last year uh, to see if we could bring this technology on the continent. Uh, but right now I've been too busy, but that, if you're looking for an exciting business to do, a business that has huge opportunity, economically, green-wise, environmental-wise, check them. I'm sure they're looking for licensing and, and spreading uh, their technology worldwide. I'm sure they'll be interesting for somebody that want to license their technology. But I'll really, really look for that uh, uh, for that type of technology, man. We have millions and millions of tires we dump every year in Africa. Dump. We have no way to process it to this day. So whoever's going to do this business in Africa is going to have uh, uh, enough raw material for decades to come and even more. So look at this man, look at this technology as huge economic and green uh, uh, opportunity. Um, the fourth one I came about not long ago. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very interesting technology. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if it's new, but they use biogas bio to uh, power plants. Uh, so they build power plants using biogas technology. And I think also it has huge opportunity. You know, 70% of our waste are food waste, right? That you can convert it to biogas. Uh, even though there's also opportunity on the macro level, on the micro level, but uh, biogas as a power plant is very interesting because, you know, we use solar, 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 but solar at night doesn't work. Then you have storage technology. Biogas is 24 hours. In a day, seven days a week, non-stop, you have enough, again, raw material, organic waste, we're not missing that, you know, people waste, uh, I mean, there's plenty of that waste around. So biogas is a very interesting technology, actually, that company is actually, uh, came to Rwanda not long ago, uh, not sure why, but uh, it's a very interesting, I'm not sure if they're the only player, I'm pretty sure they're not. But I believe that it has a huge opportunity to lower the cost of producing energy because now you don't have to worry about storage. So check them out, we'll put the link also. The last one, it's a good friend of mine, came across his business uh, a year ago. They were also top 25 finalists um, uh, at the Green Challenge also, so you can see. I check Green Challenge all the time, love their platform, love what they're doing. There's a young brother from, uh, from Kenya, uh, love what he's doing, man. He's trying to solve one of the biggest challenge farmers are facing today is how to store their food uh, so it doesn't go to, to waste. It's uh, you know, a freezer. So it's a solar freezer system that uses solar technology. Uh, we'll put the link uh, below. and. Uh, 30 to 40 percent of food goes to waste because there's no way to store them in rural areas. Again, great innovation, um, tapping into a massive problem, problem across Africa. Um, and I try to put more African innovation. We don't do that much hardware, unfortunately. Uh, you can you can see in this in this list. There's no app. There's no software. I have nothing against those things, but hardware has a huge space uh, and there's a huge need for hardware innovation uh, to solve some of our key problems. Uh, the problem is nobody wants to get into that business because it's not sexy. It's very, very expensive to get into the hardware business. So going back to this young brother, uh, he just started his journey about a year ago. He's a young engineer. Um, check his website and if you can support uh, those innovation especially those african innovation because they're expensive because not, not very you know many people get into it you know find a way to support those guys man the more we get together the more we support those innovation the more impact we'll have on the ground 
So thank you, check it out. And at the end, in the description or somewhere in the comment, if you think about an innovation you want to put on, uh, or you want me to address, uh, in this, in this, uh, my next video or in the description, please put whatever innovation at the bottom. I'm always looking for some very innovative companies uh, that I can share the message, see how we can support them, and move forward. Thank you very much.